Hey, what is going on pros and prices? Mr. Lyman HD here, and welcome to another drinks review. Today, we're reviewing, <clears throat> and this is a long title, so bear with me. We are reviewing Urban Rajar's Juicy Sparkling Indian Fresca, refreshingly spiced with a twist of turmeric, born in Britain, spiced by India, mango, and papaya sparkling drink. So I got this particular can out of Pound Stretcher, and it cost me 29p, and yes, it's still in date before you ask, it goes out of date in April 2020, and I'm recording this in February 2020, so we're all Gucci. And before I start, I've also reviewed the Fiery Ginger one and the Lime Cucumber. Both of these will be in the description below. So, I'll give you guys a 4360 of the can. So we have a we have a fairly cool looking can design, like the other cans. We have a, kind of this nice shiny, you know, the sh shiny patting on the front with the uh, kind of orange and pinky purpley looking colour. So it looks nice and shiny and cool. And then of course we have this kind of, you know, different style font. We don't see that font kind of too much. It looks different, you know, kind of looks like hand drawn. So it looks cool, looks different. And uh, just, you know, again, it's all shining reflective. So it just looks... Uh, looks you know really cool on the bottom we have nothing and on the top everything is all standard and silver including the pouring now looking at the back of the can we have a little story and the words and stuff which we'll read in a second so we have a little mustache man here doing the old uh, recycling bit with his with his mustache and it says metal recycles forever which i guess is true so there's a little story here which i'll read to you now it says hello i'm the urban raja and I thought it was time we slacked, slaked, slacked. I said that about the other two cans. I think it's slacked, or sla I think it's slacked. Slacked our first with something extraordinary. This drink is the result of my spiced fruit alchemy, blending fruit juices and fresh sparkling water with Eastern botanicals. Very interesting. We have fruit juices on concentrate, as always, uh, grape, lemon, and lime. And this one has caramel sugar, unlike the others. Um, in fact, there's the ingredients in here are considerably different to the other two drinks. And this one contains 4.7 grams of sugar per 100 ml. So again, very similar sugar content to the other two drinks. And, and apart from that, there's not much else on the can. So I'm actually hoping this is going to be a nice, a nice juice drink because the lime and cucumber, well, yeah, go watch the review. And the fiery ginger, well, the clues in the title. So. I'm hoping this is going to be a nice fruit drink I can enjoy. So anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Hopefully it does not explode over me. So I'm guessing the colour is going to be orange or something. or Not orange, but kind of like that cloudy kind of... Not even cloudy, just kind of the generic kind of exotic mixed fruit kind of flavour, which I guess is orange or a darker orange, shall I say. You know, um, yeah, darker, darker orange, isn't it? And the smell and taste, well, it's probably going to... Smell taste of mangoes rather than papi, uh, papaya or papaya, however you want to say it. And the hint of the twist of turmeric, 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 however you want to say it, is interesting. I'm not actually sure what turmeric is. I know it's, I think, some sort of spice, but uh, apart from that, I don't know how that really affect this drink. But uh, it's probably just going to taste of mangoes because it's cheaper fruit, isn't it? So, anyways, hopefully it does not explode over me. Don't you dare. There we go. Okay, so quite a few bubbles on the top there, but definitely not as fizzy as uh, one of the other other flavours I reviewed. The colour is indeed just a orangey colour, it's definitely a tad on the lighter side than I would suggest as maybe a tad darker, but for the most part it's just the orangey colour. This one is cloudy though, it's a little bit see-through, but for the most part it's just cloudy and you can't really see through it. And there's almost literally no bubbles on the side uh, whatsoever so i could not smell the drink while i was pouring it out so give, we'll give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell oh that smells nice so i like mango juice and i like papaya i'm just calling it pa papaya papaya juice whatever and i like papaya juice because rubicons you know mango juice rubicons papaya and whatever juice it's all nice i like it so i'm hope you know this, this smells of mango it doesn't smell of again i don't know really what turmeric really is and how it smells like but uh yeah definitely smells of mangoes over to the uh, papaya yeah again there's maybe a hint of something in there because if i was to smell say normal mango juice out of the carton like 
Rubicon's pure mango juice, uh, then it would obviously smell stronger on mango. So I guess that's probably the papaya in the uh, in the background, give, mixing the smell down just a little bit. But nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Oh, what the? What is that? Ugh. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh my God. So there's a little bit of sweetness there compared to, you know, the other two drinks, even though they had sugar, they were not, not sweet. There's definitely a little bit, of, little bit of sweetness to that one. I don't know whether that's just because it's mango or whether the sugar's actually taken effect because even though I said the others had sugar, they weren't sweet at all. So I would like to see this one maybe without sugar and see whether it's just the mango effect and the sweetness. But this one definitely has a bit of sweetness, uh, even for having the same amount of sugar as the others. Now, the flavour, yeah, it's literally like a, it's a, it's like a really, really cheap, nasty mango flavour. And there's a really horrible backing in there. And I guess that's, I mean, it says a twist, a twist of turmeric rather than a hint or a, or a splash. I mean, they're all the same meaning aren't they a splash a hint a twist of something you know <laughs> you know a twist of something a, a splash of something all the same meaning aren't they so it's like i guess maybe that that weird taste in the background is the turmeric but in terms of the the papaya uh like literally it, it's it's I, I can't taste any of that in there you've literally just got a really cheap nasty mango taste with a just like a fizzy backing which just isn't great and you've got that really weird turmeric taste and they can get like turmeric paste and stuff so you know i kind of know what it is but i've never had it or tried it i have no need to try it um it probably doesn't really belong in a drink but um yeah that's not great at all it's ugh, it's just horrible it's almost like yeah it's like it's just drinking a really really cheap nasty mango drink and the aftertaste is just horrible it's like again it's like that really just that really cheap aftertaste you know what i mean it's like it's like the mango in that is not real whatsoever and just doesn't taste like like you look at rubicon's mango beautiful absolutely beautiful and you, you come to this and it's like Ugh, what the hell is this so uh, you know some may argue rubicon's got full of sugar in the mango one which it has but then they do do sugar free ones now which i, I still like so you know it's making mine up on that one but for the most part, yeah, it's just horrible cheap flavour. Not good at all. So for that, it gets a thumbs down for me. But as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.